shocking realization struck me towards the end of my preparation and that is more isn't always better as soon as the preparation started for my batch the enthusiasm in the students just skyrocketed and most of those idiots ended up surrounding themselves by a huge pile of books that they could only dream of finishing in 2 years and unfortunately i was one of those idiots now this is all the books that i own that has the word j e e printed on it now do not freak out a bunch of this are yet to be touched and probably will remain untouched but after j e e is finally cleared my judgment is that i could have cleared it with this many books alone A similar idea goes for choosing tutors and institutions. I had friends telling me how amazing this ABC institution was or this XYZ teacher was. Almost everyone is buried with suggestions and recommendations in the preventive segment of your preparation. I'm not saying they're wrong. What I'm trying to imply is that it's best for you to gauge the options you have about teachers and institutions in advance that is like before your 10th board exams if you're in 11th stick to your teacher or institution if you're satisfied with them if not then find your way find someone you can be satisfied with that way you won't waste your first 6 to 7 months of your preparation just altering teachers and trying out institutions This is especially harmful to your preparation because the first half of 11th sets the platform on which the whole preparation is constructed over the next one and a half years. Another thing I think is really important is to keep in mind that your friends are equally clueless. For someone not involved in JE preparation for 11th standards, every new book and every new institution they see will seem like a gem to them. Don't just blindly follow the gems your friends recommend without realizing that you have uh, several gems in your pocket yourself. Uh, it's highly likely that they know little about what they're saying. Before acting on those influences, it's useful to consult with a teacher or a mentor or someone who has clear JE beforehand. One thing is really common in JE aspirants that is a lot of unnecessary stress around the JE exam that can be eliminated. The thing is IIT should not be your last resort. Well technically if you're attending JE advance you already have JE mains cleared. Needs to be changed is the mindset that has been engineered into us by our family, our society, teachers and friends that failing to clear JE is the end of your career. Well, it is not. You should believe that you'll absolutely love to go to IIT, but just in case you still have an ITs. If you actually look to the outer world, most of the world leaders today don't even have a college degree. Therefore, I encourage you to give exams like NSEs and KPPI. I cleared KPPI in class 11th and NSEP in class 12th, so I knew that if JE doesn't click, I still have institutions like IIC, ISR, and IIT available. So make sure to give those extra exams so you are secured if you really want to go to a good college. And one dreadful thing that many students including me ignored until it was too late is inorganic chemistry. The thing is inorganic chemistry demands your attention. Excluding chapters like chemical bonding and coordination compounds, inorganic chemistry is something to be completely memorized. and i had the mindset like it doesn't matter if i study for 2 years or 2 months cuz i'll remember the last few months only and boy oh boy was i wrong i ended up going to the exam without any idea about chapters like dna block qualitative analysis chemistry in everyday life and in organic biomolecules poc etc and there were only 7 to 8 questions from organic chemistry out of 36 questions in je advanced 2019 so that's uh what can i say that's how bad my bad luck is another really common thing among je aspirants is that i've seen students tearing their heads off over one chapter i think it's really important to understand that you won't master every chapter most of the students had their weak chapters for me they were like complex numbers ionic equilibrium transistors etc don't get me wrong i'm not saying forget your weak points you must invest more time in your weak points than your strong points all i'm saying is that you'll not be equally good in each chapter you have to learn to be okay with that fact one of the things that 
I really think needs to get spread among the young students is that you're not bad at maths, you just haven't practiced this enough. See, when you're in high school and we get lower marks in maths, we generally get the idea that we are bad at math, that math is not for me and our somehow our family, our friends and our teachers like amplify that same thought and they get rooted in your mind that you're not good at math. You just keep thinking that I'm bad at math and that that thought alone can make your performance severely deteriorate in mathematics. When I joined an institution in class 11, there was this guy, I'm not taking any names, he was completely amazing at maths. Everyone else in the class was spending 10 minutes over one problem, he will just look at the problem and solve it in one minute. That's how good he was. That's when I thought that maybe he's just too good, maybe I'm not good enough. But then I realized, I talked to him like how is it really good. Uh, he said he maths is his favorite subject and he practices the most so i treated it like an experiment let's try practicing math like heavily every day for five months and let's see what happens and i can tell you i improved a lot i improved beyond my expectations of m how i perceived my mathematical skills to be and i'm pretty sure you too will be surprised just Ex try experimenting with it and one of the worst things that can happen to you during these two years of J preparation is burnout burnout is that stage when you're emotionally weak and you can't find any motivation to work to study to do anything and you just can't seem to keep up with everything and if all the assignments the practice papers the tests and all the theory just seem to overwhelm you that's the point of burnout and you just can't work burnout hit me at probably the worst possible time like two months before GE advance and I was a bit naive at that point and it took me about one month to cope up with that burnout so let's be honest you can't really skip your st what you can do is include a bit more happier or joyful activities in between like read a book maybe watch a movie like once a month or maybe go out to play some cricket or football every day in the evening when you have time or on the weekends go, go meet your friends have some kind of outlet to all the stress that JE preparation is putting on you. One of the really useful things in J preparation that I cannot stress enough is to make short notes. Short notes was that amazing thing that helped me clear JEE. -E. You can make short notes as per your preference, but here's how I did it for JEE. -E. I just took one chapter and noted down every concept, formula, equation, relation, and exception in one page for each chapter generally most of the chapters could fit into one page some extensive chapters like rotational dynamics or waves did not fit into one page and that's all right make them as concise as possible but they should clear your point they will not be much of a use in the first part of your preparation but they will be of a huge importance in the last half of your preparation especially before any exams you will not like to go through 50 pages of a chapter instead when you can go through two to five pages of short notes and you can remember everything every exception formula conception everything in my case i made three different copies for physics chemistry and maths you can do it however you want Another useful tip is to own your time. You should take your time in your hand or all these assignments and the test and everything will just overwhelm you in no time. The trick is to manage your time well. And how to manage your time well? I will not go deep into that thing because I already made a video about it. You can see it in the card somewhere or in the description. And one of the biggest things that you need to understand that neither the teachers nor the institutes will get you selected. Your selection depends upon you and you only. They can only guide you. You have to do the work. I mean, 
you can see the statistics in any batch or in any institution 95 percent students don't get selected why they all went to the same institution why don't they get selected and i'm pretty sure all the toppers when they come from one institute they would have done equally great if they were in some other institute because institutes and teachers they don't matter they all teach the same thing same damn thing what is different is the mindset what's different is the amount of discipline what's different is the amount of productivity so work on that don't stress too much over institutions and teachers it's already a few months in it's not time for shuffling teachers and institutions at this point 